All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz. We're getting our lineups ready. Run up and down these bleachers. Got me some. Uh, between the Clinch County Panthers and the Ware County Gators, the girls will play first. Here, tipping off. They're warming up. Uh, I think we're set to go at 12 minutes. So y'all don't go nowhere. We're getting our lineups and all our stuff put down to stick right here. And we'll be back for some exciting basketball here live on Creek Box. We'll be right back. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at register Satsumas. And then a Lockheed Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily, and the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move at Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodlin' Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta. Come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. 
Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. Our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 912- 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Ankor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 912- 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Chat. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. 
Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Hi right, everybody, welcome out to Creek Boss TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Daniel Munoz back, ready for some exciting basketball. We finally got done with football season. We did the middle school basketball final four game yesterday. Want to give a congratulations to James Edwards and Russell Robinson and their middle school basketball team. They're going to travel over to Turner County tomorrow at 2.30 for the title. Maybe they can bring that back home. But tonight we have the defending Class A state champion, Clinch County Panthers, are hosting the number five A Ware County Gators from across the swamp. We're getting ready for the starting lineup of both teams and get ready to tip this thing off. Coach Lee Douglas is getting ready to announce everybody. Lee going over the rules. I think the Lady Gators coming here with a two and one record. Lady Panthers are one and zero, beating Cook County last weekend. Y'all don't go nowhere. After the girls' game, we got an exciting boys' game coming up. Always. Exciting basketball. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Welcome to tonight's first contest between the Ware County Lady Gators and your Fish County Lady Panthers. The starting lineup for Ware County. Number three, Trinity Jenkins. Jenkins, number three, is a starter for Ware number County. Number four, Wesley. Wesley, number four, is a starter. Number 10, Marie Mateka. Malika, number 10. Number, number, 10. number 11. And number 33, Anderson Delk. And number 33, Delk. Your starters for the Lady Gators. And your starters for Prince County, number one, Destiny Tauber. Talbert, number one for the Panthers. Number four, Mario Dean. Number 13, Terrence Number four, Dean. Dean. Number 23, Tyler Dorsey. Number 13, Stevens. And number 11, Angel. 23, Dorsey. Along there with number 11, Asia. The defending state champion. There's your starting lineup for both teams. We're getting ready for some basketball. Lady Panthers, coached by Coach Chase, Coach J.D. I don't know where Coach Doreen's at tonight.
Jumping for Ware County, it looks like it'll be number 10. Matika. There's Doreen. She's here. Dorsey will be jumping for the Panthers. Lady Panthers will be in their white uniforms. Lady Gators decked out in green. We're getting ready to tip off here in the first quarter. Ware County will win the tip. Number three, Jenkins with it. She'll lose it down there. Hood had it. Rebound in there by Dean. Here come the Panthers. Dean pushes it down. She'll give it up to Talbert. He's just sitting a pick. Back to Dean. Dean driving. Ten-footer off the backboard. Can't get it to go. Dorsey with the rebound up and in. Two to nothing. Lady Panthers on top. Here come the Gators. Number four. That's Wesley with the ball. She'll give it up over to number 10, Matika. She's got it. Good defense by the Panthers. Dealt with it now for the Gators. Back to Matika. She traveled. That'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers now. Stevens will bring it in. Talbert will dribble it down. Talbert setting it up. Back over to Stevens. Down to Dean now. Dorsey with the ball at the free throw line. Looking. She's going to drive, dribble, turn around. Ten-footer off the backboard. Can't get it. Stevens tried to get the rebound. Couldn't hold on to it. Here come the Gators. Jenkins with it. Back to Matika. She'll give it off to Wesley. Trying to get it inside. They got it number 11 off the backboard. She couldn't hit it. Dean with the rebound. Jones had the shot. Couldn't get it to go. Panthers back down the court. They lead two to nothing. Asia with the ball. She'll turn around off the backboard. Couldn't get it. Matika with the rebound for the Gators. Jones has it. She'll push it down the court. Here comes Ware County. Or Wesley, excuse me. Wesley pulling up. She'll kick it back out. The long three by Matika off the rim. Dorsey with the rebound. We're going to have a timeout by Coach Chase. So we'll be back in 30 seconds. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. All right, here we're back live on Creek Box. Panthers with the ball. They lead two to nothing here in the first. Talbert, she'll have it taken away. Matika with the ball. Dean will be called with a foul. That'll be foul number one on Dean. Ware County with the ball. Jenkins will bring it in for the Gators. They'll get it over to Delk. Back out to Jones or Wesley. Back to Jones. Shot. Can't get it to go. Good job by Dean getting the rebound. Tamika had it, but Dean took it away. They'll get it to Dorsey. Dorsey looking or drive. She'll miss one off the back of the rim. Here come the Gators now. Wesley bringing it down. She's going to go all the way to the basket. Kicks it out to Delk. Can't get it to go. Oh, and there's a foul. That one's going to be on number 13, I think. Yep, that'll be on Stevens. That'll be her first. That's going to put number 11, Jones, at the free throw line for Ware County. Panthers leading two to nothing. 526 to play in the first. First shot up and in. Can't get it to go.
Asia back in the game. Second free throw on the way. Good shot there by number 11, Jones, and that'll be good. Two to one now, Panthers lead. Magby, Nana, or Demarion had the ball, lost it. That'll be a turnover by the Panthers. Here come the Gators now. Wesley bringing it down. Panthers leading by one. Got it down low. Good defense by the Panthers. They got to kick it way out. Three-pointer, no good. Asia with the rebound. Asia will give it back up to Stevens. Asia saved it. Over to Talbert. Down to Dorsey. We got a foul here, and they're going to call that on number 10. Matika, that'll be her first. Panthers keep possession. Tolver to bring it in. Number five in the game, Nana. Dorsey with the ball. She'll kick it out to Nana. Nana all the way over to Magby. Long three off the back of the rim. Dorsey with the rebound. She'll take it from the free throw line. Got it to go. Dorsey with four points tonight. Panthers lead four to one now. <coughs> Wesley bringing it down for the Gators. All the way to the basket, can't get it to go. Rebound Gators number 11. She couldn't get it to go. That was Jones. We got a foul, let's see. Number five, that's gonna be on Nana. That'll be her first. Dooley going to have to show her how to not the foul up under the basket. First shot on the way. Got it. Good shot there by number 11. That's Jones. She has two points tonight. Dean back in the game. Magby will take a break. Second shot on the way for Jones. Couldn't get it to go. Dorsey with the rebound. Dean with the ball. Panthers pushing it down. They get it to Asia. Asia back to Dean. Talbert with the ball now. She'll dribble around. Back out to Nana. Nana lost it off her foot. Asia saves it. Dean with the ball now. Over to Talbert. Talbert trying to drive in, throws one up, can't get it. Dorsey with the rebound. She, they said she traveled. I thought she stepped on the line. Be a Panther turnover. 3.50 to play in the first. Panthers lead 4-2. to two. Wesley bringing it down for the Gators. She'll kick it over to Matika. She'll drive in, lays it in. Good shot by Matika. That's all tied up now, four-piece. Gators in a little press. Trying to trap the Panthers. Nana pushing it. She'll get across half court. Asia with the ball now. Talbert has it. Back to Asia. They get it to Dorsey. All the way across to Nana. Nana driving. She'll throw one up. Can't get it to go. A rebound in there by number four, Wesley. Here come the Gators trying to take a lead, and they throw it out of bounds. All right, Ware County's going to put four fresh bodies in the game right now. Coach Chase will match it with one. Stevens in the game. Asia will take a break. So the Lady Gators have five fresh bodies out there now. They'll knock it out of bounds. No, the Panthers lost it out of bounds. So the Gators take over. All right, number one. Kyla with the ball. She'll give it up to number five. That's Moody. 
Moody drives in there. Good block by Dean. Got another one. Oh, that'll be a foul. That's going to be two on Dean. Coach Chase going to have to put her down, I think. We're still here in the first quarter. Number 15 for the Panthers. That's Wilson getting ready to check in. First free throw on the way. Good shot there by number 12, Garrison. Ware County with their first lead now, five to four. Second shot on the way for the Lady Gators. Got it, nothing but net. Six to four now, Ware County on top. Stevens will give it back to Talbert. Talbert, long pass to Dorsey. Dorsey will take one dribble, shoot, 10 footer, got it. Dorsey with all six points for the Panthers. We're tied up six apiece. Kyla dribbling it down. She's going to give it up to McNeil. Long shot. Can't get it to go. Stevens had it. Let's see who touched it. Stevens did, so the Gators will keep it. Kyla will bring it in for Ware County. Referee talking to Coach Lee. I think we're getting the clock situated. Usually takes Coach Lee about several games to get used to running the clock. He gets a little confused when it goes to double digits, I think. <laughs> He'll like that, won't he? <laughs> All right. Won't be long. It'll be baseball season. We have two months. For baseball. Huh. All right, the Lady Gators get it in. Number 12, Garrison with the ball. They'll lose it out of bounds. Panthers take over. Talbert will bring it in. Right back to her. She dribbles down. They got her trapped. She'll give it over to Stevens. Stevens traveled. We're all tied up six apiece. 2.09 to play in the first. Gators have it. We got about 750 people viewing right now. We appreciate it. All right. Tomka Peters in the game now for the Panthers. Number 21. Kyla bringing it down for the Lady Gators. You dribble around. She I lost it. Oh, 15 got it. Here comes Talbert. She'll scoop it up. Dribbling around. She'll take a long shot. Couldn't get it. Got her own rebound. Got it to Peters. Peters off the backboard. Got it in. Good shot by Tonka Peters. Panthers back on top, eight to six. Kyla bringing it back down for the Gators. She'll kick it over to McNeil. I don't know what you're 20. Oh, I got you. 13 with the foul, that's Stevens, that'll be her second. Daniel up here giving me these confusing hand signals. First shot on the way and it's good. Ware County killing the Panthers from the free throw line. 24, that must be Vickers. I got a 34 but not a 24. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Man, they're shooting some good baskets. Eight to eight now. We're all tied up. Cupcake will bring it in. Magby bringing it down past to AJ. AJ will dribble around one. Let's see. We got a foul. Nope. Yep. Foul on number 10. Matika, that's going to be her second. Cupcake will bring it in for the Panthers. Magby with the ball now. Back to Cupcake. Asia with it over to Cupcake again. Looking good defense by Ware County. Oh, the Panthers will turn over. Oh, Asia tried to steal it. 
They have it, though. That's McNeil with the ball. She'll throw it up. Can't get it. Matika with the rebound. She'll go back up. Can't get it. Dorsey has the rebound now. She'll get it out. To Cupcake. She'll spin around. She needs some help. She'll get it to Peters. Peters trying to drive to the basket and lost it out of bounds. All right, here come the Lady Gators. We're all tied up eight apiece. 38 seconds, clock running here in the first. McNeil with the ball, she got it down. Good pass, got it to number 11, Jones. She'll make it. Ware County on top, 10 to eight now. Asia with the ball, they'll find Peters. It went over her head and out of bounds. Panthers will turn it over with 22 seconds now. Panthers will bring in a sub, number 15, Wilson in the game. Peters will take a break. A long three-pointer there by the Panthers. That was Magby off the rim, couldn't get it to go. 12 seconds, where County come down? A long three, oh, in and out. Dorsey has it. Nana will scoop it up. Here come the Panthers, three, two, one, Dorsey will take a long three, can't get it to go. After one quarter, Ware County 10, Clinch County 8, we'll be back in 60 seconds. Lutz Brown Pigler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz Brown, Pigler & Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. We look forward to seeing you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, got my buddy Daniel as my phone. I've got to say Munzo. I guess that's all how you have it spelled, ain't it, Daniel? <laughs> all right, we're all tied up now, 10 apiece. Good job by the Panthers. Starting the second quarter, Wesley with the ball. Where can they got all their original five starters in? Here come the Panthers. Magby bringing it down. Dorsey with it now. Trying to get it down low to Dean. In and out of her hands. Dean playing with two fouls. Got about a little over 800 people watching so far. We appreciate everybody tuning in here live on Creek Box. Warrior County with the ball. Trying to get it down low. Good job by Magby, she'll knock it out of bounds. Wesley will bring it in for the Lady Gators. Got it way outside over to number five, Moody. Wesley with a long three, come up short. Rebound number five, can't get it to go and they're gonna have a foul on Stevens. Man, and that's her third foul. She's gonna have to sit down now after halftime, I'm sure. Yep, Coach Chase can't gamble. Asia is getting ready to check back in the game. First free throw up, she'll miss it. Nana back in the game also. Second free throw on the way for Moody. Got it, good shot there by Moody. 
11 to 10, Ware County on top. Here comes Talbert pushing it down. Got it to Asia. Asia back out to Nana. Asia just inside the three point line off the front of the rim, couldn't get it to go. Here come the Gators now. Moody bringing it down. We got a foul. They're going to call that on number 11, and of course, that'll be Asia. That'll be her first. She's doing good so far. Usually, Asia's got three fouls by now. Don't want to jinx her. 11 to 10, Ware County on top. Five second violation. Good job by the Lady Panthers. So they'll take over now. Now, now, bring it in. She'll get it to Talbert, and here come the Lady Panthers. Got it to Dorsey. Going to drive in, eight foot. She got it back to Nana. Nana trying to throw it up, got fouled. Almost got it to go. That one will be on number 11, Jones, for the Lady Gators. That'll be her first. That'll put Nana at the free throw line. Maybe Rollo's been teaching her how to shoot them threes and free throws. Oh, Dooley could do it now. First one, she'll miss. Second shot on the way. Got it. Good shot there by Nana. We're all tied up again, 11 apiece. Six minutes, 30 seconds to play here in the first half. Panthers got her trap. Good job there by number three. Jenkins got out of it. Asia trying to get it. Had it and lost it out of bounds. Wesley will bring it in for the Gators. She did. She got it. Found Moody. Moody trying to drive in. Talbert has it. Nana on the court. Jump ball. See who has it. Delk will check in for the Gators now. Moody will take a break. Jenkins will bring it in. Gators with the possession. Delk with the ball. Dorsey all over. Delk will kick it back out to McNeil. Long three off the back of the rim. What do we got? Three second violation there. No, 33. They're going to call a foul on Delk. That'll be her first. We're all tied up. Here come the Panthers. Talbert to Dean. Dean with a long three off the back of the rim. Good rebound in there by Jenkins, number three. Here come the Gators. Trying to get it down low. Good job by Delk. Got it. Couldn't get it to roll. Dean up top. Jump ball. Panthers have possession. Talbert bringing it down for the Panthers. She'll kick it to the left over to Dean. Panthers or Gators playing some great defense. Panthers having trouble getting it down low. Talbert dribbles. Double dribble, boy, that would have been pretty. Dean was wide open on the back door. Talbert drawed them all to her. To come back to that a little bit, here come the Gators. We're all tied up, 11 apiece. There's another long shot off the backboard. It was just a two-pointer. Good shot there by number three, Jenkins. 13 to 11 now, Ware County back on top. Talbert to Nana. Asia had it off and out of bounds. Mm. Panthers will turn it over. Here come the Gators. We're about halfway through the second quarter. 4.50 to play in the first half. Wesley. Over to number two, long three, boom, got it. McNeil with a three. 16 to 11 now, Ware County trying to pull away a little bit. Dean with the ball. 
Spin move, trying to get it. She drawed three of them. Good job by Ware County. The Panthers turn it over. Good pass. Oh, she traveled, couldn't park them feet. That was Jones down low for the Gators. Panthers coming back now. Talbert pushing it down the court. Over to Dean. Dean with a long three off the rim. Got her own rebound. Can't get it to go a second time. Out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. Coach Chase said, I want a timeout, so we'll take one, too. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Averitt House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. Oh, that's some spicy mustard, Daniel. Panthers with the ball. 16 to 11. Ware County on top. Asia with it. She'll give it up to Dean. Dean trying to drive in. Spin move. Got it. Good job by Dean. 16 to 13 now. Panthers cut it to three. Wesley with the ball. She'll kick it all the way over to Jenkins. Jenkins down low. Oh, she traveled. Jones had it and made it. All right, here come the Panthers. Talbert back down the court. Over to Nana. Nana way across. Oh, Dean went one way. Dorsey the other. But they didn't let them go the right way. Bobby Talbert says, go, Lady Panthers, from old Lady Panthers player, Bobby Talbert, and a good one, too. That's back in my day. <laughs> Great basketball player for the Panthers. All right, here come the Gators. They're up 16 to 13. Wesley with the balls. Kick it over to number three, Jenkins. Jenkins driving in. Dorsey got a piece of it. They're going to call a foul. At least that is Dorsey's first foul. Ware County hadn't missed but one free throw all night. They've been deadly. That's where they've gotten all their points. First shot on the way. She'll miss that one. That's Jenkins at the line. Magby back in the game for the Lady Panthers. Jenkins will miss that one. Good rebound in there by Asia. Oh, great job by the Gators. They'll steal it. McNeil with the ball for Ware County. She's going to take a long three off the rim out of bounds. Panthers will take over. Big number 10. Matika back in the game now. Good basketball player for Ware County. Number 10. Oh, the Panthers lose it out of bound. Wilson will check back in for the Lady Panthers. Asia will take a break. Wesley bringing it down for the Gators. 2.50 to play here in the first half. Gators holding on to a three-point lead, 16 to 13. Good pass, they get it down low. Got the rebound, they put it back up again. Can't get it to go. We got another foul, let's see who this one's on. Number three, that's Magby, that'll be her first. It's gonna put the Gators back at the free throw line. I wanna give a shout out to Lankford and Hendricks. 
for filling in for me last week. Doing a basketball game. Second shot on the way. She got that one. Good shot there by number three, Jenkins. Three points for her tonight. 17-13 now. Ware County on top. Jenkins will take a break. Moody back in the game for the Gators. Talbert bringing it down. She'll kick it over to number three, Magby. Magby trying to dribble. Let's see. We got a fat note. 15, they're going to call a foul on the Panthers. That's Wilson. That'll be her first. Panthers just can't get a shot off down here on offense. Here come the Gators. Good job, good movement. They got, they've been able to take shots, and there's another one, number 11. Jones, six points for her tonight. 19 to 13. Looks like an old version of that Austin Deloach wheel. Ware County running it good. Getting able to take a bunch of shots. Long three by Dean off the rim. Can't get it to go. Panthers with the rebound trying to get it to Wilson. Gators steal it. Here they come. Wesley down the court. Matika with the ball. Back across all the way. To Moody, Moody with a three and got it. Big shot by Moody. Gators starting to pull away now, 22 to 13. 130 to play in the first half. Panthers can't buy a basket down here on offense. Gator defense just all over them. Long shot, Talbert over the rim. Miss Johnson said we missed you the other night. Go Panthers. I appreciate that, Miss Johnson. Hope not to miss no more. Hope these Panthers start playing a little bit better. All right. Tomka Peters back in the game. Number 20 for the Panthers. Here come the Gators. 112, 111, clock running. Late here in the first half. McNeil with the ball. They get it to 24. And Vickers can't get it to go. Matika with the rebound up and in. Four points for Matika. 24 to 13 now. Talbert trying to drive. Peters has it. Couldn't get it to go. Let's see. We got a foul on number 24. And that's Vickers. So that's going to put Tomka at the free throw line. Her first shot. Got it. Good shot. Three points for Peters tonight. That's the first basket the Panthers have made in about five and a half minutes. 24-14 now. Peters' second shot on the way off the backboard. Couldn't get it. Dean with the rebound. She'll put it up and in. Finally, the Panthers showing a little bit of life. 24-16 now. Oh, the Gators will turn it over. Traveled. She was going to pass it to her, and it would have been back court, so she held on to the ball. Nana will bring it in now. Wilson will take a break. Talbert all the way to Dean. Dean with the long three. Boom! Got it. Good shot by Dean. Panthers trying to get back in at 24-19 now. 25 seconds. Finally come to life. Panthers on a six to nothing run. Ware County a second shot, got it to go. Vickers with the basket. Here come the Panthers, Dean with it. She's gonna drive all the way in, can't get it to go. Talbert with the rebound, turnaround jumper, can't get it. Gators hit it, and it'll go out of bounds with two seconds. 26-19. Panthers finally showing some life here in the last 30 seconds. Got to shoot it. Talbert, long three, can't get it to go. So after a half of basketball, Clint County 19, Ware County 26. We'll be back in about eight minutes.
Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of a lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. Crafted with you in mind, our homes are a blend of style and warmth, turning dreams into reality. Whether you're seeking mobile, modular, or manufactured homes, Clayton Homes of Waycross has the perfect fit for you. Join the thousands who've chosen comfort, chosen quality, chosen Clayton Homes. Call today to speak with one of our experienced home consultants, 912-284-1728. We also offer land home packages, Clayton Homes of Waycross. Be merry this holiday season at the Mary Averett, located in the heart of downtown Homerville, Georgia. The largest Christmas decor and holiday showroom south of Atlanta, come experience the magic of the holiday season with brands such as Christopher Radko, Mark Roberts, and Glitterville, with an extensive selection of tree trimmings, tabletop decor, and holiday themed gifts. The Mary Averett has everything you need to make every day a holiday. At Richards in Homerville, Georgia, you'll find the best meats and seafood anywhere around. For all your holiday needs, parties, and special events, we provide catering that will make the occasion one your guests will never forget. Whether it's a wedding, company party, political event, or convention from Savannah to Atlanta and parts beyond, call Gregory to schedule Richard's Catering Service or to purchase their famous barbecue sauce today. 912-487-5822. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs, so don't put your dreams off another day.
part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 Four seven zero two three five nine to schedule yours today. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munzo with me. Panthers getting beat. They trail twenty six to nineteen. The defending Class A state champion against the 5A Lady Gators from Ware County. Top scores for the Panthers, Dean with nine points. Mingo with one points. Uh, Peters with three points and Dorsey with six. Ware County, the difference is we have four scores. Ware County's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls that have scored. McNeil, three. Jenkins, three. Moody, four. Matika four, Jones six, Garrison two, and Vickers four. That makes the score 26 to 19. See if the Panthers, they finally come alive there. They scored half their points. Right there with about two minutes to play in the first half. They went cold, didn't score a basket for about five minutes. See if Coach Chase, Coach Doreen, and Coach J.D. coached them up at halftime. Good test for the Panthers here early in the year. You can tell this is just a second game. It's going to take the girls a while to get back in shape. Good competition here with a 5A school coming to Homerville. Ware County's got some good-looking athletes herself. 
All right, the Gators will have possession first. We're getting ready to start it, waiting on Coach Lee Douglas. He's massaging his fingers so he can mash the button for the clock. Here we go, we're ready now. McNeil will bring it in, got it, almost lost it. Back over to Matika, long three, off the back of the rim. Dorsey trying to get the rebound, Matika got it. Another rebound by Ware County, here comes Dean down the court now. From one end to the other, left-handed lays it up and in. 11 points for Dean now, 26-21. Panthers in a little press. There's a turnover. Stevens with it. All the way in. Oh, couldn't get it with behind the basket. Oh, backcourt. Yep, she stepped across and tried to get back. Matika stopped, but put one foot on the other side of the line. So the Panthers have it now. Talbert bringing it down. Back over to Stevens. Stevens down to Dorsey. They just fall all over Dorsey. Every time she gets the ball, she's going to draw a double team. Talbert with it. Looking, trying to find a spot. Got Asia. Asia almost lost it. Good save. Talbert, 10-footer, can't get it. Got her own rebound. She traveled, so that'll be a turnover by the Panthers. Here comes Ware County now. Dill can bring it in. Panthers staying in a little press. They're trying to keep some pressure on the Gators now. First time they've done that tonight. Gators get it down. McNeil with the ball. Back over to Matika. Another long three off the backboard. Couldn't get it to go. Asia with the block. Who they're going to call it on? Asia didn't even move. Oh, okay. They're going to get that one on Talbert. That'll be her first. For a minute, I thought they were going to give it to Asia. She got the block. Talbert got into her body from behind. First free throw on the way. Can't get it to go. Jenkins. She has three points tonight for the Gators. 26-21. She'll make the second one. That'll make it 27-21 now. Ware County on top. 6.40 to play here in the third quarter. Asia with the ball. Dean turning around, trying it. Can't get it to go. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Dean, I guess, number four. What it looked like. Dean with three fouls now. Got to be careful. Dealt with the ball. They'll throw it. Oh, good save by Ware County. Wide open under the basket. She'll travel. That was number three, Jenkins. So that'll be a turnover. 27-21. Ware County on top. Wesley will check in. Jenkins will take a break. Here we go. He knows we're doing a game, doesn't he? <laughs> What's the score? <laughs> what they got at the concession stand. That's what David Lee wanted to know. All right, what are we waiting on? Here we go. We're ready now. Talbert bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to Asia. Asia trying to get it to Dean. Got it over three head. She'll draw a foul. Let's see who this one's on. Number 10, Matika, and that's going to be her third now. So Dean and Matika with three fouls apiece. Dean at the free throw line. First shot up and in. Dean with 12 points for the Panthers. She's got over half of the points tonight. Second free throw on the way. Got it. Nothing but net. 27-23. Panthers clawing back in it. Dealt with the ball. They'll get it across half court. Matika down to number four. That's Wesley. Over to Delt. Back over to McNeil. McNeil drive in and got it. Good shot by McNeil. Five points for her, 29-23 now. We're counting on top. Here comes Talbert. 
Looking, looking, long three off the backboard, couldn't get it. Here we go, they got some shout outs. Let's go, Dorsey. Oh, Talbert will call a timeout. Let's see. She was on her back. Good job by Talbert, a heads up play to get it. Purvis says, Go, Lady Panthers, from Jonathan and Angela Talbert. All the way from Cutting Loop Road. We appreciate y'all tuning in, darling. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, man. They're the ones that make it possible. We got Homerville Jewelers, Clinch Memorial Hospital, Community Paramedicine Program. Dre Snack Shack. Give Dre a call. He'll have them wings waiting on you. Clinch Memorial Hospital, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Clayton Homes of Waycroft. Clinch Memo uh, Memorial Family Practice, Pizza Inn of Wake Cross, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Savage Turner Law Firm in Savannah, Georgia, Camping World of Alasta, Napa Auto of Homerville, Big Daddy's there on Highway 84. I'm sure we got a big crowd tuning in there. Walker Jones of Wake Cross, Burt CPA, Lutz Brown Insurance, Moore Farms right there in Maynard, Georgia, Huey's One Stop, Douglas Meadow, Register, Satsuma, Richard's Meat and Seafood and some of his famous barbecue sauce, the Averett House, the Little Averett, and the Mary Averett. We appreciate all of them being sponsors for Creek Box. Anybody would love to become one, you let me and Daniel know. We can hook you up. We got several more getting ready to add to the Creek Box family here shortly. There's Trini coming in, Trini and Nett. Better late than never. Panthers will throw it away. Let's see if I can get Trini right there walking. There she is. She's trying to hunt Rollo. Can't miss him with that big red hat on. All right. Here come the Gators now. Pushing it down. Good pass to Matika. Off the board. Up and in. Six points for her. 31-23. Gators trying to pull away again. Five minutes to play in the third. Asia with the ball. You'll hand it off to Stevens. Back to Asia. Back to Stevens. Stevens long three. Couldn't get it to go. Panthers struggling again to shoot. Here come the Gators. Matika under the basket. Oh, she walked. Man, she laid it up and in. Oh, I think she realized she was so wide open. Couldn't get it to go. Dorsey with the ball now. They've done a great job on Dorsey. Keeping her from driving to the basket. Dorsey will pull up 10 footer, got it. Eight points for Dorsey tonight. 31-25. There's another turnover, Dorsey with the steal. She'll slow it down. Over to Dean, Dean looking. She's gonna drive in, left-handed up and in. Good job by Dean. 31-27 now. Dealt with the ball. There's another steal by Dean. Back to the basket. She'll draw a foul. Dealt with the foul. That'll be her second. Patricia Grady says, Darius Grady, North Carolina. Go Panthers. Go both teams. I have a niece on each team. I'm trying to read it. Baby girl McNeil on Ware County. Let's go, ladies. And Auntie loves you. I appreciate that, darling. And I think she's uh the Panther. Which one is she talking with the Panthers? I was trying to figure that out. Asia. Asia. That's who she's talking about. Okay. All right, we got a timeout. The score is 31-27. We'll take a 30-second break. We'll be right back. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. 
At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Daniel with me. Talbert, not Talbert, I'm, excuse me, Dean at the free throw line. She stepped it up here in the third. Free throw on the way off the rim, couldn't get it to go. Number 11 with the rebound, that's Jones. Here come the Gators. 3.55 to play and they'll lose it out of bounds. Ware County 31, Clinch County 27. Talbert with the ball. Here come the Panthers. Over to Asia. Asia back to Dorsey. Dorsey to Asia in the middle. It went through her hands. Uh-oh, good job. Three had it for the Panthers. That was Magby. Asia with another steal. Over to Dean. Dean with a three off the back of the rim. Magby with the rebound for the Panthers. Oh, they said she traveled, so that'll be a turnover. Here come the Gators now. Delka bring it in. Panthers keeping some pressure. Got to get it in. She does. Back to Delk. Delk needs some help. Talbert on her. They'll get it across to Jones. Back to Delk. Got it across just in time. Asia will knock it out of bounds. Ware County will keep possession. Wesley will bring it in. 3.18 to play in the third. 31-27, Lady Gators on top. Oh, good move there by number four and got it to number 11, and Jones will put it in. Wesley to Jones. 33-27 now, Ware County on top. Asia with the ball. Back to Magby, long three, boom, got it. Good shot by Magby. 33-30. Oh, Dorsey tipped it. Couldn't hold on to it. Gators have it. Delk with the ball. Back over to Wesley. Jenkins with it. Back to Wesley. Over to Moody. Moody with the shot. It went in and come out. Good put back there by number 11, Jones. 10 points for Jones. 35-30 now. Work County on top. Talbert with the ball. Over to Asia. Magby with it. She's going to throw up another three. Couldn't get it to go. Had it. Good job by Dean with the rebound. She'll put it up and in. 35-32. Ware County still on top. Under two minutes to play here in the third. They get it across. Delk got a cross. Oh, and she traveled. She couldn't put the brakes on. We got some subs coming in. Steven, our cupcakes coming in for the Panthers. Along with Vickers. Nana back in the game. Here we go. Talbert with the ball. 1.45 to play in the third, clock running. Get it to Dean, turn around, 10-footer, couldn't get it to go. Oh, she's on the line. <laughs> she's trying to say I'm not. There's, she's trying to say there's a little bit of gap between it, but the referee ain't having none of it. Talbert bringing it in. Good defense by the Gators. Dorsey looking, dribbling, nowhere to go. She'll throw one up, can't get it. Vickers with the rebound. Here come the Gators. 125 to play now in the third. Good pass. Wide open. Dorsey will put it out of the knock it out of the park, but they're going to call a foul. That'll be her second. Destiny Daniels says, let's go, Gators. She's all right. She went down hard. Number five did. That's Moody. She has four points for the Gators. Where County's coaches want a tech called on Dorsey, but she got all ball, but she did get into her with her body. Where County got to get it in. 
we got a foul on, I guess he's calling it on Dorsey. I think that's a makeup foul. That'll be three on Dorsey if that's what it was. Dean will take a break. Peter's in the game now for the Panthers. We got a timeout. So we'll take one, two. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop. One All right, everybody, we're back. Gator's trying to take it. Dorsey with the rebound. She said no. She traveled. Looked like she jammed her finger on that one. She was trying to tippy-toe on the line and couldn't stay in. 35-32, 118 to play in the third. Gators with the ball. Vickers over to number three. That's Jenkins. Moody driving in off the backboard, up and in. Good shot there by Moody. 37-32 now. Now Ware County is going to pick up the pace and press. Peters back to Dorsey. Dorsey trying to drive in, can't get it. Peters with the rebound, couldn't get it to go. Talbert will steal it for the Panthers. She's going to drive all the way, takes it in. Dorsey trying to get it, knocked out of bounds by the Gators. They're letting them play under the basket now. There's some height out there between the 5A Gators and the Class A Panthers. nana has got to bring it in. Got it, knocked out of bounds. Good job. No harm. They get a new five seconds now. Tolbert will bring it in to Nana. Nana looking, trying to get it down low. Good job by Vickers. She'll knock it out of bounds. Nana back into Tolbert. Long three off the rim. Can't get it to go. Gators with the rebound. Good ball handling there by number three. She lost it. Good save there by Shardell. Back out to Wesley. Moody driving in. Can't get it to go. Vickers up and in. Six points for her. 39-32. 15 seconds and the Panthers throw it away again. Ware County's played some good defense tonight on the Panthers, but the offense have just struggled. Wesley with the ball. She's going to bring it in for the Gators. Got it down low to Vickers. Off the backboard. Can't get it. Now Stevens with the rebound for the Panthers. She'll dribble down. She'll pick it up now. Back to Talbert. Dorsey with it. Two seconds. You got to shoot. Talbert will throw it up, no shot. So after three, it's Ware County 39, Clinch County 32. We'll be back here in 60 seconds. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. 
drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the all right, here we go. Panthers with the ball, the fourth and final period. 39-32, Panthers trying to hang around. Here come the Gators with the rebound. Another miss by the Panthers. Good job, Moody driving in. They'll kick it out. There's Matika can't get it to go. Stevens with the rebound, and she traveled. Another Panther turnover. Talbert limping a little bit with her right ankle, it looks like. Back in the game. 39-32, Matika with the ball. She'll give it up to Moody. Long three, got it. Good shot there by McNeil. Her second three of the game. 10-point game now. Dean will throw up a three, can't get it to go. Talbert with the rebound. She'll throw up one, can't get it. Dorsey, Talbert got it, got it back. Over to Dean. Panthers need a basket. They need one now. Dean drives in and got it. 42-34, eight-point game now. 6.55 to play. McNeil driving in. She'll throw up a left hand. It can't get it to go. Talbert had it. She'll lose it. The second chances the Gators have has killed the Panthers. They just outplayed them under the basket. Moody with the ball now for the Gators. Looking. There she is. Wide open under the basket. Jenkins. It looks like they're running that wheel again. 44-34, we got a timeout. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. All right, here we are. 44-34, Panthers needing a basket. Stevens needs some help. She did. Got it back to Talbert. Out to Dean. Long three off the rim. Can't get it. Here come the Gators. Back down. Jenkins. She'll slow it down. Jonah Nielsen says, we got this, Gators. We got this. They're in control right now. Long three. Couldn't get it to go. Got her own rebound. We're going to have a foul. Looks like that's going to be on Dorsey, and that's going to be foul number four, I think. That's going to put Jenkins at the free throw line for the Gators. 44-34, 5.57 to play. First shot on the way and got it. She's a great free throw shooter. 11-point lead now. Peters will take a break. Mag be in the game for the Lady Panthers. Second shot on the way for Jenkins and got it. Sank it. 46-34. Panthers needing a basket. Talbert kicks it out to Dorsey. Dorsey spin move. Got it. Couldn't get it to go. Another miss. Wide open is Jenkins, and she's going to lay it up and in. 48-34 now. Talbert with the ball, tried to split them. There's another turnover. We're going to have a foul. Mm. They're going to call that on number five, Moody. That'll be her first. Gator coach didn't like that one. 
Stevens will bring it in. She adds it right back to her. Throws up a three. It's going to be short. Rebound Gators. Jenkins bringing it down for Ware County. We got about 1,300 people watching now. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Dorsey with the steal. And the Panthers turn it right back over and a foul. That's on Dorsey. Let's see. We're fixing to find out if she had four. Apparently she had three. Now she's got four. That's going to put Moody at the free throw line. First shot off the back of the rim. Wilson's going to check in, and Stevens will take a break for the Panthers. Second shot on the way for Moody. Y'all don't go nowhere after the game. The boys are coming up, and it's going to be an exciting one. Good shot there by Moody. 49-34 now. Gators on top. Dean's going to bring it in to Talbert. Panthers just cannot. There's another turnover out of bounds. Off the Panthers, it'll be a turnover off her leg. 49-34. Here we go, Wesley with the ball. She'll kick it out to McNeil. Back to McNeil. Over to Jenkins. Jenkins with a three. Boom! Got it! Her second one tonight. 52-34. Magby will bring it in. Got it to Talbert. Back to Magby. Over to Talbert. They're trying to set the hook. Good job by the Panthers. Dean with the ball. Panthers got to do something and got to do it now. They'll miss. Makeda with the rebound. We got a jump ball. Gators have possession, though. 431 to play. 52 to 34. Gators have used their bench good tonight. They played about 11, 12 girls, and they have pulled away. It's a 5A school. You can do that. They have got some good girls. I tell you what. Gators look, there's another three, almost got that one. Matiko with the rebound. She'll have it stolen, Dean with the ball. Dean pushing it down all the way. That'll be a charge on Dean. Let's see. No, they're not gonna call it on Dean. They're gonna call it on Matika. That'll be her fourth. Daylin Edmonds says, let's go Panthers. Panthers, Ware County's on about a 10 to nothing run. Let's see, we still can't break it. Dale go check back in. Matiko sit down with four fouls. She has six points for the Gators tonight. Ding's second shot on the way. Oh, they're gonna call a lane violation on the Panthers. So that basket will not count. Dean will take a break. Delk will bring it in for the Gators. They get it in, number 11, Jones. Back to Delk. Over to Jenkins. Good passing by the Gators. Got it in, number 11, Jones with the basket. 12 points for her tonight. 54-34 now, 20 point lead, biggest lead of the night. Had a foul on number four, Wesley. That'll be her first. Panthers pulled within three one time, but it's been all Gators since. Talbert with the ball. Back down, trying to get it to Wilson. It'll go out of bounds, and here come the Gators. Asia will check in. Magby will take a break. Delk, she'll get it in. Got it in to Jones. Over to Wesley. 
Gators looking. Gators want a timeout. Good job. They'll get one. That'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be back in just a second. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley with my buddy Daniel. 54-34. Ware County on top. It's been a while since the Lady Panthers been beating this bad. This game's going to help them. They're playing a great team by Ware County, and no. Thought that might have been a foul on Wilson. It wasn't. Went out of bounds. Ware County keeps it 3-12 to play. They get it in the Delt. Back over to number four, Wesley. McNeil with the ball. She'll throw it up. Another rebound by the Gators. You get it. Another rebound by the Gators, and she'll dribble out. Wesley, she'll park it out. She'll give it over to McNeil. They're chewing some clock now. Wesley back to McNeil. All the way over to Jones. Jones with a long three and another one. Oh, that was Jenkins, excuse me. Her second, 57 to 34 now. There's a shot by Asia, can't get it to go. Another rebound there by number four, Wesley. Here come the Gators. Got it down. You better get out there on her, she'll shoot it. McNeil with the ball. They got it out to her again. She's going to drive in this time, kick it to Delt. Back over to McNeil. Oh, she thought about it. They get it to 11 to see she traveled. 2.05 to play now. 57-34. Ware County on top of Clinch County. Here come the Panthers now. Talbert pushing it down. Talbert drives in, a 10-footer, can't get it to fall. Panthers fighting for it. Dean comes up with it, and she'll put it up and in. First basket the Panthers have made in about four minutes, 57-36. There's a steal by Dean again. She's going to take it all the way, throws it up, couldn't get it to go, no foul. Talbert fighting for it. Good job there, number one, McKeven with the ball. Good pass down low to number three, Jenkins, in another basket. Boy, the second half, she has scored six, nine, 12, 15 points here in the second half for Ware County, Jenkins has. She had three in the first half. We're fixing to go under a minute now. Asia will throw up a 12-footer, can't get it to go. Vickers with the rebound. He'll give it up to Wesley, and here come the Gators. Long pass. Oh, she traveled. We got some subs now. Ware County unload the bench. Going to get some of the younger ones in. That's good to see. Munford in the game. Number 12, Garrison in the game. 23, I don't have a 23, I'm sorry. We got a full timeout. We're just going to stay right here. Y'all don't go nowhere. There's 48 seconds to play in the game. Panthers are going to come up short against the 5A Lady Gators from Ware County. It's 59 to 36. The boys will play next. Me and Daniel will take about a 10, 15-minute break, and we'll be right back after this game. We appreciate everybody tuning in. We got a little over 1,200 people watching now here live on Creek Box. Here we go. 
Here come the Gators back on the court. 48 seconds to play. Stevens will bring it in. Or Cupcake will, excuse me. Talbert will bring it down. 40 seconds. Talbert back to Cupcake. She hit a three earlier. Talbert needs some help. They do to get it over to 14. She'll throw it up. Can't get it to go. That was Causey. Fighting for it on the rebound. We got a jump ball. Jump ball. Causey got the rebound. They had a jump ball, and the possession goes to where? 20 seconds to play. McEvlin with the ball. He'll kick it over to 23. Got it! A three-point shot by number 23. Great shot. 62 to 36. There's a shot. Cupcake had it blocked. Peters with the rebound. Can't get it. Off the backboard. Got it up and in. And that's going to do it. The final. Ware County 62. The Lady Panthers 38. Me and Daniel's going to take a break. And we're coming back for the boys. So y'all don't go nowhere. We'll be back here in 15 minutes.
Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averett House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily, and the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl trico Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of a lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at WalkerJonesChevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodleland Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley, got my buddy Daniel Munzo. <laughs> I'm in a habit of calling that. That's what my phone says. Hey, right, we are getting ready for the boys game. The Lady Gators come to Clinch County and took it to the Lady Panthers and give them a loss. So now the boys are going to try to get a win here. Boy, there's nowhere to sit. They're going to run out of Coca-Colas and French fries tonight. This place is packed. Uh, we're getting ready for the starting lineup, and you're going to have a name that is familiar with where County he played in Charlton last year, and that's right, number one. There he is from Charlton County, number one. War to be a starter. Number four, Franklin. Franklin is a starter. Bold, number five. Simmons, number 23. Coach Terrence George in the Panthers. Coach Tad Poe. Number one, RJ Gloucester. R.J. Gloucester is Aaron Bryant. Aaron Bryant. Number 13, Jeremy Bell. Jeremy Bell. Number 20, Alvin Green. Alvin Green, number 20. And number 23, Jay Sean Raymond. Jay Sean Raymond, number 23. There's your starting lineup for both teams. The Panthers will be decked out in their white uniforms. The Gators from Ware County will have their gold uniforms on. Well, we're getting ready. Number four will be jumping for Ware County. That is Franklin, and he'll go against Bale. There's going to be some speed on the court tonight. There it is. Bale will win the toss. RJ, he'll kick it all the way back out to Bryant. Back to RJ. They get it to Green. Raymond back to Bryant. Bryant with a three. Couldn't get it to go. Bell big up high with the rebound and lost it coming down. Here come the Gators. 
Number two, all the way across to Simmons. Number 23, he'll drive. He'll kick it back out to forward to Franklin. Let's see, they lost it, knocked it out of bounds. Good job by the Panther defense. Gators have it, they're passing it around. There's number one with a three and out of bounds. Went over the basket. That was right with the shot. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant bringing it down over to Gloucester. Back to Bryant. Bryant's going to drive in. Oh, three of them hanging on and went in and come out. Here come the Gators back with it. That's Ward with the ball. He's going to dribble around looking for some help. He'll kick it out to Simmons. Off the back of the rim. Bell up high with the rebound. Bryant bringing it down for the Panthers. Over to RJ. RJ with a long three off the back of the rim. Hit it twice, couldn't go. Here come the Gators now. Ward from one end to the other, can't get it. Bryant with the rebound. Panthers all the way back down. Bryant lays it up. Bell trying to get it off the rim. We're gonna have a foul on number five. That's Bowles, that'll be his first. Julia Merriweather, that was a while ago. She texted in watching the girls play. Bryant, first shot at the free throw. Can't get it to go. We're scoreless here. A minute and 20 seconds into the game. Bryant, second shot on the way. Can't get it to go. Rebound, Franklin for the Gators. All the way down, Bowles with the ball. He'll lay it up. And in, so the Gators are up. Nope, no basket, he traveled, okay. Bryant, back to RJ, back to Bryant. He'll get it to RJ. Green, back down to Raymond and off the backboard and in. Good shot by Raymond. Panthers lead two to nothing. Here come the Gators now, Ward with the ball. Over to Bowles. Three second violation on the Gators. No, we got a foul on 23. A Simmons, that'll be his first, excuse me. Brian will bring it in for the Panthers. RJ with the ball now. Back to Bryant. Bell got it in to Green. Green using his body, couldn't get it. Bell with the rebound up high, can't get it to go. Gators will throw it away and out of bounds. Panthers leading two to nothing here early in the first. Bryant will bring it in, he'll get it to RJ. Got it to Green, he's driving a good move, got his own rebound up heavy, can't get it to go. Bell trying to get it. Oh, that was Raymond, excuse me. Here come the Gators. Number one, right off the basket. Raymond with the rebound, he'll give it to Bell. Bell behind his back, 10 footer, wrapped in and come out. Here come the Gators, back down. Ward with the ball, he'll kick it out all the way to Bold. got it with a three pointer. Warrior County on top, three to two now. RJ to Bryant, back to RJ. Over to Bell, Bell trying to get it to Green. Raymond saved it, back to Bryant. RJ with the ball, long three, boom, got it. RJ with the basket. Five to three, there's another three pointer by Wright. He'll miss it for the Gators. RJ bringing it down for the Panthers. He'll set it up, got it to Green, over to Bale. Bale with a three off the rim. Raymond up high, can't get it. Rebound in there by Franklin for the Gators. Long three, boom, got it. Bold with two of them now. Six to five, Ware County on top. RJ back to Bryant, he'll throw up one. Boom, got it. Bryant with one. Panthers back on top, eight to six. 
Gators trying to get it down low. Good job by Bell, knocks it away. He'll give it up to Bryant. Bryant's gonna slow it down now. Over to RJ. Back to Bell, Bell got it to Raymond, hit hard in the back. That's gonna be a foul on Simmons and that's gonna be number two. Here comes Ware County. They're gonna send in three subs. Panthers will bring Burns in the game now. Green will take a break. Also, you got Mingo coming in and Raymond will take a break for the Panthers. Bryant bringing it in, looking, looking. Good defense by the Gators. RJ will run it down. Back to Bryant, long three, boom! Got it, back to back three for Bryant. 11 to six now, Panthers on top. Ward with the ball. He'll dribble around, looking somewhere to go. Good defense there by number five for the Panthers. That was Mingo. Bryant with the ball to RJ. RJ with a long three and it'll draw a foul. That'll be on right number one, his first. That'll put RJ at the free throw line. 11 to six, 320 to play in the first. First free throw on the way, got it. Four points tonight for RJ. Second shot on the way. Got it. Third one on the way. In and out, couldn't get that one to sit. 13 to six, Panthers on top. Gators down deep, number 20, good save. Bell with a block. Gators got it. 14 with it, and they five, I think. Let's see who got it. Yep, they're gonna call the foul on Mingo. That'll be his first. That'll put number 14 at the free throw. That's Boyd for the Gators. First shot on the way, got it. Good shot by Boyd. 13 to seven now. Second free throw on the way for Boyd. Got it. 13 to eight. Bryant bringing it down for the Panthers. He'll dribble up. 15 footer can't get it to go. Rebound in there by Bold. Here come the Gators. He's gonna take it all the way. Lays it up and in. Eight points tonight for Bold. 13 to 10 now, Panthers lead. Bryant with the ball. Over to Mingo, back to RJ. RJ looking, got it to Burns. Oh, trying to get it to Burns. Good job by the Gator defense. Here comes Ware County, right with the ball. He'll dribble in, can't get it to go. We got a whistle, let's see. Number 15, that's gonna be Burns. That'll be his first. Swamp Acid says, let's go Big Red. Let's go Cousins. Franklin for the Gators and Green for the Panthers. Appreciate all y'all tuning in. We got about 1,500 viewers right now watching the game live on Creek Box and we appreciate every one of them. 2.24 to play in the first, 13 to 10. Panthers on top. RJ coming down the court for the Panthers. He'll get it to Raymond. Raymond looking, needs some help, he found Bryant. Good block there, Bryant driving in, can't get it to go. Let's see, we got a foul. Let's see what they're gonna call this one on. Number three, that is Jackson. That'll put Brian at the free throw line. That'll be his first foul on Jackson. 
First shot for Bryant, got it. Bryant with seven points tonight here in the first. Kyla Williams wants to give a shout out to R.J. Gloucester. Bryant will miss his second one. Here come the Gators, right, bringing it down. Crossover, he'll drive, took an NBA step, it looked like. They'll call traveling, he'll turn it over. 155 to play, 14 to 10, Panthers on top. RJ bringing it down for the Panthers. Got it over to Bale. Bale looking. Does the crossover pulled up? He traveled. He tripped up. Be a Panther turnover. Here come the Gators. Ward with the ball. Oh, he almost lost it. RJ on it. Let's see. Good, good save by Ward. He'll get it to number three. That's Jackson driving in. Rebound, Bryant. Here come the Panthers. Bryant's going to drive in. Good pass to Raymond. Let's see if we're going to have a foul on number two. That is Ward. That'll be his first. Bryant back at the free throw. Aaron has seven points tonight for the Panthers. 14 to 10, Panthers on top here in the first, late in the first. Got it, good shot by Bryant. 15 to 10 now. Posley in the game for the Panthers. Bell will take a quick break. Second shot on the way for Bryant. Off the edge of the rim, couldn't get it to go. Posley with the rebound. He needs some help, get rid of it, he does. He finds Mingo. Back to Bryant. Good job by Posley. Posley, look, he thought about pulling the trigger. Bryant with it now. Back over to Johnson. Bryant, we're under a minute. Let's see, we got a five-second violation. That'll be a turnover by the Panthers. RJ and Bell back in the game. Johnson and Mingo will take a break. Here come the Gators now. Ward bringing it down. He'll dribble around, 10-footer, can't get it to go. Good rebound over there by the Gators. He'll miss it again. Bell with a spin move. Somehow he saved it all the way down and off the backboard up and in. 17 to 10, Panthers lead now. Bell slaps at it. We're gonna have a foul on number 11. That's gonna be Posley and that'll be his first. What a move by Jeremy Bell. Tipped it to himself, spun around. All the way to the basket. Gators with the ball. Bowles with it, he'll kick it out. Good, back door pass to number 14, Boyd. 17 to 12 now. Posley bringing it down, he'll kick it over to Bryant. Bryant looking, they get it to Bell at the middle at the free throw, he'll pull up. Can't get it to fall. Rebound in there by Bowles. Here come the Gators. Ward with it. Long three off the back of the rim, and that's going to do it. Man, don't go nowhere. We got a great game. Panthers 17, Gators 12. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. 
So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel up there working the camera. 17 to 12, Panthers lead. Here come the Gators, Ward with the ball. He'll kick it over to Bold. We got a foul, let's see. I don't know what it was, it was a turnover. Must have been three seconds. Panthers have it. RJ bringing it down for the Panthers. Green will set a block. Behind the back, Green saved it somehow, got it to bail. Back to Green, Green down low with his body, can't get it. Raymond tried to tip it in. Here come the Gators, back down on this end, Ward with the ball. He'll kick it out over to Bowles. Bowles dribbling, good drive to the basket. Green having none of it, he'll slap it away. Back out to Jackson. Jackson trying to get it, can't get it. Green tips it again, but Ware County will recover. Bowles with the ball, over to Ward, long three and got it. 17-15 now, Panthers on top by two. Here come the Gators. Panthers needing a basket, Bell with the ball. Bell with a long three, can't get it to go. Good rebound in there by RJ. He'll throw up a three off the back of the rim. Bell had it, let's see who touched it last. They said the Panthers touched it last, Gators will have it. Simmons will check back in, he has two fouls for the Gators. Posley in now, Brian will take a break. Oh, and he'll throw it away. It'll be a turnover. Here come the Panthers now. Great game, 17-15. Panthers on top, 6.30 to play in the half. RJ bringing it down for the Panthers. He'll kick it over to Posley. Back over to Raymond. RJ back to Bell. Bell looking, he's gonna drive, pull up, 10-footer, got it. Good shot by Jeremy Bell, 19 to 15. Panthers on top, long three off the rim. Couldn't get it, that was Bowles. Raymond with the rebound. Here come the Panthers, Posley with the ball. Posley falls down, timeout, timeout. He's trying to get it, he, no, jump ball. Coach Terrence was trying to get a timeout. Posley will take a break, Bryant back in the game. Panthers have the ball, they had the possession. 19-15, Bryant brings it in, RJ back to Bryant. Oh, they said he traveled, I guess. Be a Panther turnover. 5.57 to play in the half. Panthers leading by four. Here come the Gators, Ward bringing it down. He'll kick it out all the way over to Bowles. Bowles driving, lays it up and in. Good move there by Bowles. 10 points for him tonight, 19 to 17. Bryant, he'll give it up to Raymond, back to Bell. Bell looking. Back to RJ, RJ trying to drive. They get it to Raymond, Raymond back to Bell. Good defense by Ware. Green trying to set a pick. Oh, Bryant, uh, Bell lost it. Here comes Bowles again. Lays it up and in, and we're all tied up. 19 to 19, five minutes to play. Panthers need the basket now. Ware County will knock it out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. Gators on a six to nothing run now. Coach Terrence up, hollering in a play. RJ will get it to Bryant. Over to Bell, back to Green. Green driving. He's gonna travel. 
Took an extra step. That'll be another Panther turnover. 4.49 to play in the half. Ward bringing it down. Ware County wants a timeout, and it's going to be a 60-second timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. We're live here in Homerville between the Ware County Gators and the Clinch County Panthers. We're all tied up. Simmons driving in, can't get it. We got a foul. They're going to call this on. Blocking foul on number 20, and that'll be green. That'll be his first. Simmons, first shot at the free throw line, can't get it to go. Second shot on the way, got it. Good shot by Simmons. 2019 now, Ware County out in front. Bryant with the ball. Back to Green, Green drives in there with his body, can't get it. Baylor clean it up. Let's see, we got a foul though. Or well, Raymond did on number 14. That's Boyd. That'll be his first. That'll put Green at the free throw line. First shot on the way for Green and got it. We're all tied up again, 20 apiece. 4.26 to play in the first half. Second shot on the way. Rolled around and got it. Good job by Green. He got them both. Panthers back in front. 21-20 now. Ward bringing it down. Good job by the Panther defense. Ward needs some help. He'll get it to right. Right, trying to spin around. He'll pull up 20-footer, couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Gators. Simmons with it at the free throw line. Wrapped around. Green with the rebound. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant bringing it down. Bryant's going to drive to the basket. He'll kick it out to Raymond. They said he took an extra step. He had nobody to dump to, nowhere to go. You don't want to get them long stairs by Coach Terrence. Here come the Gators now. Panthers leading by one, 21-20. Gators with it. Right, he'll kick it back out to Ward. Ward throws up a little layup, can't get it. Simmons will clean it up off the backboard. 22-21, Gators back in front. RJ with the ball. Looking, looking, got it down to Raymond. Got it, good shot by Raymond. Four points for Raymond tonight. Panthers back in front, 23-22. Simmons with the ball. He's gonna spin, drives in, throws it up and got it to roll. Five for Simmons. Ware County pulls back in front, 24-23. 2.50 to play in the first half. Clock is running. Bryant will pull up at the free throw line off the back of the rim. Rebound in there by Ward. Here come the Gators. Good pass by Ward off the backboard there. Good shot. That's number 14, Boyd. Six points for him tonight. 
Gators with a little breathing room now, 26-23. RJ trying to drive in, they slap it out of his hands. Oh, and the Panthers turn it over. Right with the ball, Bell slaps it in the next week. Oh, I don't know what the call, did he step on the line? I guess he did. No foul. He tried to lay it up and Bell slapped it out of the park. Gators keep possession. They get it in, a long three off the rim, couldn't get it. Number four saves it, good job. Panthers trying to get it, Raymond has it. We got a foul, let's see if they're gonna call it on. 23, they're gonna call that on Raymond, that'll be his first. Gators keep possession, 2.06 to play in the half. Johnson will check in, RJ will take a break. Panthers trying to stick around. They get it in, they get it to Ward. He's the go-to guy, he sets everything up. Everything is fed off him. He get it to Simmons. Good pass. Simmons down low, and that's going to lay it up by Franklin. 28-23 now. Gators pulling away. Bryant bringing it down. Bell will pull up. 12-footer and got it. Big basket for the Panthers. 28-25. Here come the Gators now. Ward bringing it back. Simmons with it, back to Ward. Wright with it now. They're setting up a new play. Wright, good for trying to get it. It knocked out of bounds. Gators keep possession. Dollar Bill says, check in, let's go Panthers. Oh, there's a turnover to get it! Boom! Bell with the one-hand jam. Bryant off the backboard. What a play. Bell with eight points, long three in and out, can't get it, rebound. Down low, number four, we got it. Nope, Bryant has it. 28-27, Wright can't save it, it'll go out of bounds. Man, what a play. We'll have to put that one on TikTok tonight. 28-27, Gators in front. Panthers trying to scratch back in the lead. They have it. Johnson, he'll get it down. 15, trying to spin around, got it, saved it. That's Burns. Can't get it to go. Simmons, he'll lay it out. Number five. Bell blocks it, but a good job by number four to clean it up, Franklin. Bell slapped it off the backboard. 30 to 27, Gators in front. Knocked out of bounds. Number five, Bold will. Panthers keep possession. 18.7 seconds to play in the first half. Man, Bell got up high. All right, RJ with the ball, clock running, 15, 12, 10 seconds, eight seconds, six seconds. Bryant, long shot, overshot it, two seconds. One second, he throws up, no good. What a game, folks, don't go nowhere. Gators 30, Panthers 27. We'll be back in nine minutes. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. 
We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's Professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family, dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the D... Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. 
Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Aver House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Averitt House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. Our family invites you to visit RegisterSatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to Register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship Register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. And then along came Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, new 2024 Chevy trucks are arriving daily. And the 23s must go. Like this beautiful iridescent white pearl tri-coat Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. Price to move. At Walker Jones is the home of the lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Chevy, find new roads. Walker Jones Chevrolet. Memorial Drive in Waycross. And online at walkerjoneschevy.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're live here in Homerville. Panthers Trail, Ware County, 30 to 27. Top scores for the Gators. Ward has three points, Franklin four. Bolds with 12 points. Boyd with six and Simmons with five. For the Panthers, you got RJ Gloucester with five. Aaron Bryant with eight, he's hit two threes. RJ has hit one. Jeremy Bell with eight, Alvin Green with two, and Jayshon Raymond with four. Panthers trail by three. We're getting ready for the second half. It's anything like the first half. It's going to come down to who has the ball. Panthers, the Gators, there's some speed out here on the court tonight. We appreciate everybody tuning in. As Peggy says, go Panthers. And you won't get nothing from the concession. The line is back out in the parking lot. I'm glad I'm not frying no french fries tonight. All right, Coach Lee will throw, throw the basketball in, and we're getting ready to start the second half. I think the Gators had the ball to start the second. Let's see. Thirty to twenty-seven, Gators on top. Nope, Panther. Let's see. And the Gators will bring it in. Number five will be bringing it in. That's bold, man. He's been on fire for the. Gators. Every time he has the ball, he'll light it up. He's hit two threes also. Here we go. Right, bringing it down. Looking, he'll get it over to number four. That's Franklin. 
Trying to get it back to right. The Panthers will steal it. Here comes the Panthers. Bryant bringing it down. Over to RJ. RJ setting up the play now. They'll get it to Bell. Bell, crossover mood. He'll pull up at the free throw line off the back of the rim. It will not fall. Here come the Gators. Got it to right. Right with a big three in and out. Couldn't get it to go. Green with the rebound. Here comes Clinch. RJ bringing it back down the court. Over to Bell. Down to Green. Green using his big body up in the air. Got it. Can't get it to roll. Big rebound in there by Franklin, and here come the Gators. Ward with the ball. Good move over there by number five. That's Bowles. Bryant with the ball. Kick it over to RJ. RJ with the long three. Boom! Got it! RJ with his second three of the game. We're all tied up now, 30 to 30. Good move by the Gators, that's Ward. He'll pull back in front, 32 to 30 now. Panthers back down the court. Bryant will drive to the basket. Good job there by Bryant. Bryant with 10 points tonight, 32-32. Ward with the ball. He'll kick it back out. Let's see, we got a foul. They're pointing, let's see. Number four. That'll be on Bryant. That's his first. Bold to bring it in. Ward with the ball. Dribbling around, he'll kick it back out to Simmons. Simmons will drive in. We got three seconds, I guess. Number three, Jackson will check in. Simmons will take a break. Here come the Panthers now. RJ bringing it down. We're all tied up, 32 apiece. RJ back to Bale. Bale thought about it. He'll drive in 10 footer. Can't get it to go. Big rebound by Raymond Hook. Can't get it. Franklin will take it with the rebound. Here come the Gators now. Ward with the ball. He'll pull up just inside the three. Can't get it to go. Raymond with the rebound. Here come the Panthers. Bryant with the ball. Crossover, he'll go, drives in off the backboard, got it to stick. Good job by Bryant. Panthers pull back in front, 34-32. Ward with the ball for the Gators. Pick and roll, trying to get it. Ward saved it. He'll kick it over to Bowles. Good. Pass by Bowles to Franklin, and Franklin will lay it in. 34-34. We're all tied up again. Here come the Panthers. Bell with the ball. Bell loses it out of bounds. Bowles knocked it out. Panthers will keep possession. RJ bringing it in. Got it to Bryant. Back to RJ. RJ with another three off the backboard, couldn't get it to fall. Here come the Gators now. They can pull back out front, Bold with the ball. Good backdoor pass to number five. That was number four, that was Franklin. Or number three, Jackson, excuse me. 36-34 now, Bryant drives in, can't get it to go, we got a foul. On number two, that'll be Ward, that'll be his second. Miss Peggy says, go RJ. He is playing some basketball. Brian at the free throw line now. First shot on the way. Got it, good shot by Brian. Mm. 
Miller will check in now and Green will take a break for the Panthers. Second shot on the way. Bryant hit them both. We're all tied up again, 36-36. Ward looking at it. He'll get it to Bowles. Bowles will pull up, 12-footer, got it. Man's on fire, 14 for him tonight. 38-36, Gators back in front. Halfway through the third. RJ bringing it down, he'll get it to Bryant. Down low to Miller, Miller trying to do it. Good job by Franklin, slapped it away. Panthers keep possession. Bryant will bring it in. He'll pull up 12 footer, off the backboard, got it to fall. We're all tied up again, 38 apiece. 16 for Bryant tonight. Bowles driving in, he'll get it. Jackson comes in, a left-handed layup. Good move there by Jackson. 40 to 38. Here come the Panthers back. RJ bringing it down, over to Bryant. Back to RJ. Raymond with it, back to RJ. Raymond, long three, boom, got it. Good shot by Raymond. Panthers pull back in front, 41 to 40. Bowles with the ball. Got it down low again, there's a turnover. Oh, we got a foul, boy. On 23, that's Raymond, that'll be his second. That's gonna put number four, Franklin, at the free throw line. He has six tonight. 2.28 to play in the third. Got his first one, good shot by Franklin. Second free throw on the way, off the back of the rim. Miller with the rebound, he'll give it over to RJ. We're all tied up, 41-41. RJ with the ball, finds an opening, drives in. Man, it went in and come out. Oh. Oh, and Jackson will lose it out of bounds. Panthers have it back. We got a sub. Simmons is coming in now. Jackson will take a break. Bell with the ball. They get it to Miller. Miller lost it, man, in and out of his hands. Here come the Gators. Right with the ball, moving around. He'll pull up, 12 footer off the rim. RJ with the ball, he's coming down. Back to Bell, Bell got him up. Spin move off the backboard, won't fall. RJ had it. Number four, knock it away, that was Franklin. One forty to play in the third, 41-41. RJ with the ball now, clock is running. Over to Bryant. RJ fell down, he'll get right back up. Has the ball at the free throw line, pulls up, can't get it. Rebound in there, Ward, number two. Here come the Gators. He'll kick it out. Simmons with a three, can't get it to go. 14 with the rebound, that's Boyd. Panthers take it from him. That's what we got here. 23, that's Simmons, that's gonna be foul number three. Panthers keep possession. Simmons will set back down now. Jackson back in the game. 110 to play in the third. Clock is running. Bell with the ball. 
Get it down low to Green, trying to use his body and drive. Jump ball. <laughs> what do they call that quick? Panthers, will, they got the possession. They'll keep the possession. RJ's going to bring it in for the Panthers. They get it to Bell. Bell to Green. Green trying to turn around, throws it up. Can't get it. We got a foul on number three. That's Jackson. That'll be his second. 56 seconds to play in the third. Bryant with the ball. Throws up a long three. Boom! He got it again. His third three tonight. Panthers in front, 44-41 now. Ward bringing the Gators back. He'll kick it out. Long three. Boom! Got it, number five. That's Bold with his third one tonight. We're tied back up now. 25 seconds, clock running. Raymond will hand it back to Bryant. He thought about it. He's gonna drive in, throws it up, can't get it. Bale with a big rebound. He throws it up and one. So they're gonna call it on. I think it's on four. It is, it's on number four, Franklin. That'll be his first. That'll put Raymond at the free throw line. 14 seconds here in the third. He'll miss his first one. We got over 1,800 people watching tonight. We appreciate everyone. Second shot on the way off the rim. Can't get it to go. 20, they're gonna call a foul on green. So here come the Gators, 13 seconds. Ward taking his time, 10 seconds, eight seconds, six seconds, four, two, one. Boom, got it. Got it at the buzzer with a three and that's gonna make it 47 to 44. After three quarters, we're gonna take a break and we'll be back, Gators out front. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. We're live here and we're into the fourth quarter. Gators leading the Panthers 47 to 44, and they have the ball. Let's see what they're talking about. No, they're going to call it a two point shot. That won't be a three, so that's gonna make it 46 to 44. Gators have it. Right, will throw up a three, can't get it to fall. Gators with a rebound. Got a foul on 23, that's Simmons, that'll be his fourth. Got to be careful, we're just starting the fourth quarter. Here come the Panthers. They trail 46 to 44. RJ with the ball. He'll pull up, trying to get it down low. Raymond saved it somehow. Got it to Bell. Good job by Raymond. Bell driving in, kicks it over to RJ. Three, overshot it. 
Here come the Gators now. Ward running down the court. One end to the other, can't get it to go. Gators trying to save it and he does. Got it right back. He traveled in, that was number 14, that's Boyd. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant bringing it down. He's gonna take it to the basket, lost it out of bounds. Panthers will keep possession. Bryant will bring it in. Got it to Bell. Bell looking, he's gonna drive in. He'll kick it out to RJ. RJ back with a long three off the rim. Couldn't get it. Bell, spin move off the backboard, got it. Good shot by Jeremy Bell, that's 10 for him tonight. We're all tied up, 46 apiece. Number five, lay it up and in, that's Bowles. He put on a show tonight. 48-46, Gators out in front. RJ driving in, good pass, back door to Raymond and he'll lay it up and in. Gators have it now. Got it, he'll give it back to Ward. Ward dribbling, he'll kick it out. Long shot, can't get it to go. Bell with the rebound. We're all tied up, 48 apiece. Bell with the ball, he'll give it up to Bryant. Thanks for hearing this much, appreciate it. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Bell was spin move, rolled off, can't get it. Big rebound in there by Franklin, and here come the Gators. Ward back down. He'll slow down now, back it up, trying to set up a play. We got a timeout by the Gators, and we'll take one, too. We'll be back in 30 seconds. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue. All right, here we go, 5.35 to play in the game. We're all tied up. That's where we start it. Gators with the ball, Ward has it. Trying to get it down low. Raymond had it, he lost it. Man, what a play. Franklin grabbed it from him, but he was standing out of bounds, so the Panthers take over. RJ bringing it down, he'll get it to Bale. Bale trying to drive back to Miller. Miller off the backboard, can't get it. Raymond fighting for it, Gators fighting for it. RJ timeout, timeout, no, nobody has possession. Ward finally comes up with it for the Gators. Long pass, right, got it up, boom, got it. Right with his first one tonight. Gators in front, 51-48 now. Bryant, spin move, he'll lose it. Here they come, Bowles with it, drives in that Bell blocked it. Panthers have it, Bell got up and knocked it away and rejected it. And it went out of bounds off one of the Gators, so here come the Panthers back, 4.42 to play, the clock is running. 51-48, Gators on top. 
Bryant with the ball. He's going to drive in. Good pass back door to Raymond again. He'll lay it up and in. 51-50 now. Here come the Gators. Panthers need to play a little defense. Fixing to go under four minutes. Wright with another three. Back-to-back -back threes. 54-50 now. Bryant with the ball. He almost lost it. Good save. He'll kick it to Raymond. Raymond back out to RJ. RJ will throw up one. Off of the rim. Couldn't get it to go. Here come the Gators. Ward with the ball. Wright has it. Looking, looking, looking. He's going to drive in. He'll kick it out. There's another three. Can't get it to go. Raymond got it. He'll give it to RJ. Here come the Panthers. They lose it. Good job there by number four. Franklin will knock it out of bounds. Panthers keep possession. Green getting ready to check back in for the Panthers. Miller will take a break. 54-50, 320 to play. Bryant pulls up, 12-footer, got it. 54-52 now, here come the Gators back. Panthers need to steal a possession. Long three off the backboard, it went in and wrapped out. Here come the Panthers now. Bryant bringing it down. He'll drive back into the basket. Oh, we got a foul, let's see. What do they call it on here? Are they gonna call it on Brian? I think number four. No, I'm sorry, they're gonna call it on Franklin, number four for the Gators, that'll be his second. Coach Terrence George want him to come over so he can talk to him. 54-52, Bryant, first shot on the way at the free throw. Boy, every point counts now, we need them. In, good job. Bryant with four, eight. 22 points tonight for Bryant. Second free throw on the way. Got it, we're all tied up now. Fifty-four, fifty-four. Ward with the ball, trying to set it up. Bowles has it. Oh, he lost it off his foot, out of bounds. Two thirty-four to play. Here come the Panthers, trying to take the lead back. Bryant bringing it down. He'll kick it over to Bell. Bell backs out. Back to R.J. over to Bryant. R.J. with the ball, the clock is running, 15 on the shot clock. Bryant slips down, he'll get it to Green, back to Bryant, 10 on the shot clock. Bryant having to drive in, lost it out of bounds. Ward comes up limping, he's all right, I think. Panthers turn it over, 2.05 to play. Simmons back in the game with four fouls. Ward will take a seat. Or Bolds will, excuse me. Bolds with 15, 18, 19 points tonight for the Gators. Ward with the ball. All the points are coming off Ward. Wright drives in, can't get it. Simmons, Bell blocked it from behind. Out of bounds. Where County coach wanted a foul. They're going to call it on number 14 on the Gators. That is Boyd. That'll be his second. Panthers have it. 148 to play. Clock is running. RJ pulls up his dribble. He'll get it to Bell. Play clock down to 20. Plenty of time. Bell slid. Nowhere to go, it's gonna come up short. 
125 to play. We're tied up 54 apiece. Simmons will drive in low. Can't get it. We got a foul. That'll put Simmons at the free throw line. Panthers coming off a tough loss a week ago to Cook County, a double A school in overtime. Now they're playing a 5A school and we're all tied up with 120 to play. Simmons first shot on the way, got it. Good shot by Simmons. We got a 30 second timeout. We're going to take one two and we'll be back in just a second. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. All right, everybody, we're back. Gators on top, 55-54, 120 to play in the game. Simmons shooting his second shot at the free throw line. On the way, got it, both of them. Good job by Simmons. 56-54, here come the Panthers. They got to match it. Bell with the ball. He's going to drive in, lays up, can't get it. Raymond with a rebound somehow got blocked. Got him up. That's got to be no foul. He missed it. Bell had it. Here come the Gators now. Mm. Under a minute, clock running, 55. 50 seconds. With about 30 seconds in the shot clock. Gators want a timeout. He's going to get him one. We'll stay right here for 30 seconds. <laughs> Coach wanted a timeout. The referee finally giving one. 50 seconds exactly to play. Gators have the ball and the lead. 56-54. Little Class A Division II school trying to upset a 5A school from Waycross. Been a great game. I'll tell you what, when the Panthers finally make it to region play, they're going to be battle tested. Played a double A school a week ago, went to overtime and come up short. Playing a 5A school tonight, and they're toe to toe with them. All right, here come the Gators. Ward with the ball. 16 seconds on the shot clock, 44 seconds on the game clock. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Simmons with it. Seven seconds. Simmons loses it out of bounds. They have it with five seconds. Five seconds on the shot clock. Simmons trying to get it, they get it in. Three, two, one. Shot clock violation. So the Panthers will take possession. All right, they can tie it up or take the lead. They don't have to use the shot clock now. 27 seconds to play. Coach Terrence says, I want to talk to you. We're going to take our last break tonight and we'll be back. Located in Homerville, Georgia, the Avery House offers the finest selection of bespoke home decor, thoughtfully curated gifts, fresh and permanent florals, jewelry, and bridal registries. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with limited shopping hours on Wednesday and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Avery House is the ultimate shopping destination with gifts for him and her. All right, everybody, we're back. 
27 seconds to play. Panthers with the ball and they trail by two. They can tie it or they can win it. Plenty of time. Bell's going to drive in. Left handed lays it up and in. Bell got it. There's 12 points tonight for Bell. We're tied up. 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Six seconds. Right will throw up a long one. Can't get it to go. Two seconds out of bounds. Panthers have it. 1.4 seconds to play. 56 to 56. We're going to get some overtime basketball, it looks like. Bryant has it. Let's see. We got a timeout, I think. Bell took it to the basket. 1.4 seconds to play. Man, what a game. What a game. Bell with 12 points tonight for the Panthers. I thought they were going to wait and take the last shot. Bell seen it open and went to the basket and did a left-handed layup, and it went in to tie it up. 56-56. Let's see what Coach Terrence George is going to draw up now. Ware County's coach, he's probably, he cannot foul. Panthers in the bonus. You don't want to put them at the free throw line. Here we go. Raymond will bring it in for the Panthers. Here we go. They're looking, looking, looking. He's going to throw it deep. Oh, to Bell. And that's going to do it. That'll get us to overtime. So we will take another break, it looks like. And we'll be back in 60 seconds. Our family invites you to visit registersatsumas.com or visit Register Satsumas Family Farm north of Homerville, Georgia for a locally grown variety of citrus. Our season opens on November 1st and they're available until they're gone. Bring the family to register Satsumas you pick every Saturday and Sunday in November, December, and January. We can also ship register Satsumas nationwide to your family, friends, co-workers, customers, and everyone else who enjoys Satsumas. Share a smile at Register Satsumas in Homerville, Georgia, and check us out on Facebook at Register Satsumas. Don't forget your little ones this holiday season at our newest store, The Little Averett, offering a large selection of children's clothing, toys, paper goods, and baby registries with brands such as Proper Peony, Beaufort Bonnet, Feltman Brothers, Noodle and Boo, and Mary Mary. Mary Averett and The Little Averett are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with limited shopping hours Wednesday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come join us for the merriest shopping experience in the South. All right, folks, we got some bonus basketball for you. We're in overtime, four extra minutes to play. We're all tied up, 56-56. Panthers have nobody really in foul trouble. Couple Panthers with two fouls apiece. Simmons has four for the Gators. Bell will win the jump ball. He'll give it over to Bryant. Here come the Panthers trying to take their lead back. Hadn't had it in a long time to get it to Green down low. Oh, Bell tried to jam it one hand. It rolled around the rim, couldn't get it to go. Here come the Gators. Lays it up, can't get it. Oh, Raymond has it. We got it. Timeout. Let's see, jump ball. They're going to call it. That'll go to the Gators, I'm sure. Good job by Green fighting for the ball down low. Gators have it. They get it into Simmons. Long three off the edge of the rim. No good. Foul on number 14 for the Gators. That is Boyd, that'll be his third. Here come the Panthers. 3.25 to play in overtime. 
Bell with the ball, going to make a move at the free throw line. There's three of them around him. He'll get it out to Bryant, pulls up 10-footer, can't get it. Rebound by Simmons. Here come the Gators. Ward bringing it down. Behind his back, he'll back away and slow it down now. Over to Simmons. Simmons looking. Driving in, we got a foul. 23, that's going to be on Raymond. He'll pick up his third. We got over 2,000 people watching tonight. They're getting some good basketball. Simmons will miss. Here come the Panthers. 2.50 to play in overtime now. 56-56. Nobody with a basket yet in overtime. Right, chewing a little bit of clock. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Bell, 10-footer, can't get it to go. He'll strip it away. Got it back somehow. Back to RJ. Over to Raymond. Or, no, Green will miss. Nobody can make it. We got one down. Simmons will drive in. Can't get it. Can't get it. The body's laying on the floor. Green can't get up. Now Green will get up. He can't hardly put no weight on his leg. He's gonna hop off the court. Miller will come in. Man, that's gonna hurt the Panthers with that big body. Maybe he just bruised something. Boyd at the free throw line. 2-11 to play in overtime. First free throw on the way. Can't get it to go. Five will come in. Bolds is back in the game. He's put on a highlight reel tonight. I'd have lived, I wouldn't have put him on the bench for nothing. Second shot on the way. Got it. Good shot by Boyd. Seven for him tonight. 57-56. Now Gators on top. Here come the Panthers. They get it to Bell. They slap at it. Bale going to drive to the basket. Throws it up and in. Panthers back out in front, 58-57. 1.48 to play. The clock is running. Right with the ball for the Gators. He's going to throw up a long three. Can't get it to go. Raymond with the rebound. Panthers need a basket now. It would be huge. With all the deadly weapons the Gators have, if you get a basket here, everybody on the team for the Gators can shoot a three. Bell driving again, can't get a roll. Number four with the rebound, he got to get rid of it. Bell strips it away. Timeout, he strays it. Somehow the Panthers keep it, 110 to play. Clock is running, what a play by Bell. Saved it and took it away. R.J. driving in, got it to go. R.J. with the basket. 60-57, Panthers on top. Gators need a three. Ware County says, I've seen enough. I need 60 seconds to talk about it. What a play. What a game. Bales turned it up here in the fourth. Man, how he stole the ball. I don't know how he got it. Franklin had the rebound for the Gators under the basket. Turned around 360 degrees and Bale took it from him. It rolled to the sideline and he tipped it to RJ and RJ got it. Drove in and got a basket. Put the Panthers up three. Plenty of time to play. 29 seconds on the shot clock for the Gators. 53 seconds in the game. Panthers lead by three. They don't need a three, but boy, they'd love to have one. And they got several that can shoot it. All right, here we go. Panthers back on the court. Green out. Bummed his knee up. 
Miller in the game. Here we go. They're trying to get it to right. He's the one that shoots the three. They get it to Simmons. Simmons will hand it to right. 50 seconds. Shot clock at 20. They get it to Ward. Back to right. There's the three. Can't get it to go. The Gators with the rebound, though. They throw it back out to Ward. He's going to throw one up. Can't get it. Miller with the rebound. They get it to Bell. Bell to Bryant. They're hollering foul, foul. Back to Bryant. Bryant, there's a foul. That'll put Bryant at the free throw line. He needs one. He needs one free throw to give it a two possession game. 24 seconds to play. That'll be three fouls on Ward. Bryant, you need one of them, son. You got 23, make it 24. And he does. 61-57, 24 seconds to play. We'll take one more if you got it in you, son. At the line, got them both. Big shots. Gators coming down. They need a quick basket. Wardle driving. Bell slaps it away. Bryant with the ball, and there's another foul. Bell slapped it out. Never had a chance. He took it out of here. 62-57. Bryant back at the free throw line. Now we got some movement in the bleachers. We got some people starting to get up. We're ready to crank up some cars. 16 seconds to play. There's another basket for Bryant. 26 points for Bryant tonight. 63-57. Another one on the way. He'll miss that one. Nothing's fine. Right with the ball. He's going to throw up a long three. It don't even hit the rim. RJ with the rebound. He'll lay it up. There it is. Bell with another two-hand slam off the backboard. Ball game. Ball game. My, my, what a play by Bell. 65-57. Panthers pull away. What a game. Overtime. My, oh, my. We're going to give some stats here. R.J. Gloucester will finish with 10 points tonight. Bryant with 26. Bell with 16 and two big dunks. Green with two points. And Raymond with 11. Those are your top scored for the Panthers. The Gators, you got Wright with six points. He had two threes. Ward with six, eight, ten points. Jackson with four points. Franklin had 11, 12 points. Bold was the player. He ended up with 19. Boyd had seven. And Simmons had seven. My oh mine, little Class A upset 5A Ware County from across the swamp. Want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back Monday afternoon at six o'clock for some girls and boys high school basketball. Remind everybody that the middle school is playing at Turner tomorrow at 2.30. Wish them luck. Me and Daniel won't be able to make that one. We apologize. But we'll be back here live Monday. Before I get out of here, I want to give our sponsors a shout. Homerville Jewelers, Richard's Meat and Seafood and Famous Barbecue Sauce, the Averett House, the Little Averett and the Mary Averett, Douglas Metal, Register Satsuma, Moore Farms of Manor, Georgia, Huey's One Stop, Clinch Memorial Family Practice, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, Lux Brown Insurance, Walker Jones of Way Cross, Burt CPA, Big Daddy's on Highway 84, Napa Auto, Clinch Memorial Hospital Community Paramedicine, Homerville Jewelers, Dre Snack Shop, 
Snack Shack, Homerville Fargo Feed and Seed, Clayton Homes of Waycross, Pete's Inn of Waycross, Big K and Lee Engineering in DuPont, Georgia, Savage Turner Law Firm at a Vala, at a Savannah, Camping World of Valosta, and Clinch Memorial Hospital. We appreciate all them being sponsors. Man, I've lost my voice, I think. I got to get back in practice with basketball, but oh, what a game. I'm Alan Hanley with my buddy Daniel Munzo. <laughs> Before we get out here, I want to remind everybody what our captain, Mr. Baron Sutton, used to say. Y'all please tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you Monday night at 6 o'clock.